Hey everybody, it's Stacy. Oh man, I felt like I hadn't made a video in forever, and that's not really true. I made one yesterday, but I was having technical difficulties, and nothing I did turned out right. So, it kind of has been a while, I guess. Uh, this is a regular, well, this is a different kind of pour. Uh, actually, totally different. Um, it started out with the Shelly Art pouring medium uh, for the colors. I mixed just enough of it to uh, mix my colors, and then I decided to add Floetrol to it and do a regular pour. So it's kind of half and half. Um, I've never done that before. I don't know that anybody has. I've never seen it done. Um, and I don't really know why I did it, <laughs> except I just kind of wanted to see what would happen because I really like the way the colors mix with that Shelly Art Medium. Um, and I've tried doing, um, flip cups with it by putting cell activator as a layer in the flip cup and putting it on top and stuff. And it works okay. But I wanted to see what would happen if we mix our colors in the same way that we mix the cell activator, kind of. Um, and so it's kind of like having... A whole bunch of cell activators together. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. I, I never have done it before and I just wanted to see. And this is a bigger canvas. This is bigger than I usually use. This piece is for a friend of mine from nursing school that I haven't seen in a long time and I want to make her one she wanted an earth tone for. And um, so I thought it was a good time to try out this um, combination pouring medium idea I had because I don't want to try it out. And so I figured now is as good a time as any. Um, in those cups is everything in there has got pigment and paint. There's 24 karat gold. There's Ar Deco Arc Silver. Arteza Black Pigment with Mar Master Sloth Black Paint. There is um, Unbleached Titanium Paint mixed with some Arteza Cream Colored um, Pigment. Um, there's bronze, Arteza, I mean, a uh, Decart bronze paint with Arteza bronze pigment. And then there's a, um, uh, it's an eye candy, Kendo brown, um, pigment. And it's got a little more number in it. So let's see what they look like. They're thick, but I knew they would be. I hope I have enough. I, I'm not sure about that. They're pretty. I like the way the colors look. Let's just see if we have enough of it to go around. I'm not going to torch it. Yeah, I am. Uh, everything's got resin on it over there and everything's sticking to the table and sticking to each other. and. Yeah, I'm going to torch this. It's got air bubbles in it. Um, and it is mostly flow troll, so um, it should respond to torching somewhat. There are some air bubbles that are not popping. And I don't want to torch my paint, so I'll just go ahead and see what they do. Oh. I don't want to go that way because I'll pour paint off the side and I'm going to have enough paint but I'm not going to have more paint than you know not have a whole lot of paint and like I usually do you know so I want to keep as much of it on the canvas as I can until it comes time to pour some off you know how I am about that. I don't. I I like to make the decision when and where paint gets poured off. I don't like it made for me. Um, so I'm damming this side over here a little bit, and now we're gonna go down that way. This is really pretty. The um, the color is really pretty. Um, I like it. The uh, it's deep. You know, the color is really, um, 
really deep and really uh, delinified between it. And, you know, each color is real distinctive. It's not all swirled together where it's, I mean, it's not muddy. It's the opposite of muddy. Um, I got some, I got a tape problem down here in this corner. I need to fix. Okay. These bigger size canvases are kind of a handful. Because my poor table doesn't really accommodate them. So it's hard to do it without getting paint everywhere. I do get paint everywhere. I try not to, but I do. I can't really help it. Let me get that corner down there and we'll take a look at what we got. It moves slow like uh, the Shelly Art stuff, but it is mostly flow straw. I mean, um, I put about an inch of um, Shelly Art pouring medium in with the colors and mixed them. Um, mm. Hand. Just enough to get them all mixed up, and then I added the flow trawl and I mixed that. And um, I just want to see what would happen. Okay. Okay. Now. Mm. Gotta come back down. I know y'all can't see it all. I'm sorry. I'll fix it in just a second. This is just really hard to handle without getting your finger marks on it. Okay. And there's some cells. Uh, I did make some cells. Um, I, I'm just trying to get the composition of it where I like it, or the pattern where I like it. I love the gold. It's got lots of gold in it, and it's really beautiful. <sighs> I just want to move the paint around a little bit, mix it a little more. Um, and then get it to a place where I'm happy. The colors are beautiful. Can't be the way they look. I mean, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna mix it again, uh, do another pour. Mixing the paint the same way, um, you know, and experiment with it a little bit because um, I think it's real pretty. We'll see how it dries, but I don't have any reason to think that there's going to be anything wrong with the way it dries. It should dry just fine. Um, any, you know, it's no different than a regular bloom or something like that uh, it, as far as, you know, Drying is concerned, it shouldn't be a challenge. Um, let me get that little spot there. All right, uh, I like it. I think it's pretty. Um, let me torch it again, though. No. Um, because I, well, I torch my. Sometimes I torch my blooms and other Shelly art pours too because. That bright tone produces a whole bunch of air bubbles, and um, 
they're real small and you can't even see them all because um, I've seen that they come up later, you know, and so you don't even get a chance, you know, to pop them. But you couldn't anyway because they're they're so small and under the paint surface. They just look like little bee bumps. But there's so many of them, you know, you couldn't you couldn't torture them if you wanted to. I mean, you couldn't get a skewer after them if you wanted to. Um, the only thing you can do is torture them. And as far as untoward effects of that, I have seen little pin pricks appear when you torch that Shelly Art medium. Um, and that's a good and bad thing. I like them sometimes. If I have a um, an area that has too much of a certain color in it, like a big blob of cell activator or something, I'll torch it and it makes those little pin pricks and then color will come through. So, you know, I like it um, sometimes. See, it's done it there. There was there's a little pinpricks in that. But it depends, you know, I mean, there's some circumstances where that's okay to have and some where it's not. I think that's beautiful. Um, and I really love the uh, brilliance of the colors, the depth. So, I'm gonna do another one uh, after this. Here's a beach resin pour I did yesterday. It's drying hard now, and I got a new, see this moss I got? I love it. Looks just like seaweed to me. All right, let's have a look at this up close. See the little pin pricks? Now, you don't always want those. You know what I mean? Um, but I think in this particular instance, they look good. But I like them. I don't ever like big blobs of color anywhere. I want it to be mixed. And if I have an area... Sometimes you'll get a big blob of color and it's real hard to manipulate it. Now, y'all know I have my circle technique that I do. Like, if it's in the center, I'll do that circle technique and that'll get rid of a lot of things. But if there's something, for instance, on a bloom, you know, a little canvas, um, you can do your torch and it'll pinprick little holes in that color and you can see other colors underneath it. Like a cell. Um... In fact, that's probably what they are. But anyway, that that's just something I do. Um, I don't know. Just FYI, it's just something I do. I think that's be a beautiful pour. I like it. I think my friend's going to like it. All right. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm going to do another one with some color. Uh, some other colors, you know, different colors. I bought some more paint today, so I'm going to try them out. So, And I got some uh, paint shipped in from michael's and they're two beautiful colors uh bluish green or greenish blue i don't remember the name of it and the other one is blue violet and it's beautiful so we'll work with those next thanks for joining me everybody and thanks for supporting my channel i appreciate all the help y'all stay safe take care of each other and i'll see you next time